Hi, my name is Emery Pearson, and I'm presenting a joint work with Emmanuel Hartmann, Martin Bauer, Nicolas Charon, and Mohamed Daoudi, called Bear Issa, a framework for the analysis of unregistered human body shapes. In this work, we focus on human body deformation, for which we want to build a framework that is able to solve some tasks, like human shape interpolation or human motion extrapolation. We work on unregistered body shapes, which means that we have no known parametrization between two shapes. They have high details with topological noise like on ends and feet. The key ingredient of our approach will be to work on a subspace of lawn deformations, which will be equipped with a Riemannian metric which is parametrization invariant and tunable. The variables will be used to bypass the need of registration. In related work, we find elastic shape matching, which equip the space of spherical maps with a Riemannian metric. The problem is that the spherical parametrization is a hard problem to solve, and that it can be sensitive to topology. Recently, deep latent space have been proposed, with a few methods that is able to encode and decode a shape. The problem is that the encoders often lack expressivity when confronted to new shapes, and the map from a latent space to a nonlinear shape space can lack generalization because it's a hard problem. Finally, some encoders tend to learn the parametrization of a training dataset. Our first ingredient is a Riemannian latent space of human bodies, which is basis restricted on pose and shape deformation spaces. This space is constructing using motion training data and equipped with the pullback of the elastic metric of the parametrized human shape space. The advantage of choosing a pose and shape space is to be able to disentangle easily the path between the pose path and the shape path. Our second ingredient is the choice of the Riemannian metric. We propose the recent Sobolev metric of order 2, which contains six different terms that can be tunable. First, the kinetic energy of the path. Then, three other one physical terms penalizing shearing, scaling, and bending, the completion of the other one metric, and another two regularization using the Laplacian. The third ingredient is the variable metric, which we use to bypass the need of registration. It is invariant to the parametrization and the surface, and robust to noise. It was used before for numerical surface optimization and also used in the context of human body. The final idea is to start to interpolate with scans. To interpolate two scans, we start with a constant geodesic being the template. We iteratively move the geodesic until we find the endpoints that are correspond to the parametrization of the two scans, which are a zero fold distance of the two scans. For experiments, we train on dynamic force meshes with 10 sequence left for testing and a few scans for registration. We provide quantitative evaluation of, on the paper using mesh invariant metrics. We apply our approach on mesh registration, human shape interpolation, and human motion extrapolation. We compare against three deep learning methods, which are LIM, ARAPREC, and 3D coded, also providing the three latent spaces for human body. In mesh registration, we produce consistent registration against ground truth. Compared to LIMP, we provide always the, the corresponding pose. Compared to our APREG and 3D coded, we also have failures, but the failures are less obvious than us. In shape interpolation, we compare against LIMP and our APREG. And before LIMP provided not the good poses, tests here providing bad endpoints and bad, resist and bad interpolation. Arapreg provide good endpoints, but since there's no constraint in the interpolation, they are shrinking in the end, providing a non plausible motion. We are the only one to provide the plausible motion for the interpolation. We observe a similar behavior for extrapolation, where LIMP provide the, the wrong motion, and Arapreg provide shrinking on the end. Finally, we can apply our method on motion transfer by swapping shape and postcode. And we can apply our method on human shape generation with a generative model on the tangent space of the template. To conclude, we provided a Riemannian framework for deformation of human shapes, which was applied to unregistered shapes. The framework allows for interpolation and extrapolation and has applications such as random shape generation and motion transfer. Thanks for listening.